Yo, what's going on, everybody, man? This your boy, Marcus Elbow. Welcome to ElbowMediaStudios.com. And yeah, I really, really wanted to love this bad boy. I did. Elbow Media Studio. All right, so let's, let's get into this. All right, so this is going to be a, 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 a weird review. Right. Because I do have the machine MPK three. Right. And I've been having it for ye you know a few years now. So uh, let's just go into the, the history real quick. So the machine plus was released September 2020. Right. So I remember when it came out. I remember when they were talking about it. I remember all of the content creators had got theirs early. They were working on it. I was watching the videos. I'm trying to figure out if I want to go purchase it because I really wasn't trying to spend that much money when I've already I've already got one. But I was curious about the standalone aspect of it because let's just be real. I've never reviewed the machine MPK3 and I've been meaning to get around to it, but I didn't even think I really needed to because it had been out for a while. I was late to the party. I love the machine. I love the the sounds. The software is okay, but everything about the machine MPK3 I, I love. So it is part of my production workflow. I have it sitting in the studio whenever I'm feeling, you know, uh, like I want to work on it. I jump on it and, and I have a great time every time. I've never really had a ill willed experience besides maybe sometimes the software sticking, but for the most part, I've had a great experience with the machine in PK3. So it was almost a no brainer for me to say, hey, I want to get the machine plus because I want to disconnect from the computer. I want to know if it still has the same vibe as the, you know, the MPK3, but yet standalone. And, you know, it's just going to be great because, again, I do like the MPK3. So I started watching videos and all I kept hearing was the computer is not able to keep up with some of the more beefy uh, expansion packs that came with or that other people had already purchased for the MPK3 that they wanted to bring in to the plus and just start working they had started having a lot of problems a lot of glitches a lot of this and that going on so i shied away from it i was like yo i'm not fit to buy this machine and then end up sending it back and having all these issues so i waited here we go 2023 um matter of fact i think i got it 2022 so right around how long i've had it i, I got this machine in um december Let's just talk about my experience real quick. So when I got the machine, I was excited because I had been hearing that they had did a lot of updates. So I was like, yo, they may have fixed some of the issues. Now, some of the power users was like, yo, it's not perfect, but they have corrected some of the issues with the CPU glitching now, having all kinds of weird sounds. I'm like, you know what? It's time for me to go ahead on and get this machine. So I got it in the studio. My first experience with connecting it to the internet and getting it up and going was it took forever to get the software to download i don't know if it i know it's not my internet because i stream so i know i have high quality internet it took literally a couple of days or all day for me to download the standard packs just this is just the software that comes with the machine plus as far as the you know the expansions that they give you and i, I want to say maybe the plugins or something i don't know it just had a a lot of stuff that you had to install it didn't come already ready to go that would have been great if i'm just being real if, if they would have shipped the unit with all of the stuff software already ready to go i would have been fine with that so that was one of the things that i just it was a turnoff because i already knew that there were issues you know what i mean so when you already know that there are issues so you just don't want to deal with anything you just like yo i'll update it but i don't want to wait i want to play with it now i want to start making music now so anyway i had to wait for that to happen so i waited i waited i waited i waited finally it was complete it could have took 15 hours i don't even know but i know it took a while then i had already read that the memory card that they ship with this unit is not a great memory card so i said okay cool so i went and bought a memory card i put the memory card in there and i was like all right cool let's get to work right so i started producing on this machine and i'm i'm gonna be honest with you i i was the nostalgia of having a standalone machine was cool in the beginning i was like yo this is dope like i'm not on the computer i'm just working this is cool 
but I start running into some technical issues right off the muscle. Um, I start noticing that, you know, the functionality that I was used to and the speed that I was used to wasn't really the same. I started really being concerned with, you know, which expansions I use. And just for the record, I never downloaded any of my expansions from the MPK3 or from my native access. Uh, native instrument access because it took too long for me to download that stuff so i just wasn't ready to wait i just wanted to work just working off the the, the plugins and everything that came that i downloaded i was noticing that i was starting to run into some issues now it was kind of weird because i was producing a beat and i was noticing that i was starting to get some crackling some stuff was going on i even sampled some stuff and i was like yo okay so this is what they've been talking about right I thought maybe they fixed this, but then I waited a couple of days. I went and did another beat, kind of the same uh, process, but yet I didn't run into any crackling or any issues. So I was I was a little, I don't know, I, I was a little apprehensive about my approach to the machine because I didn't really know what I would get. And that was a weird feeling. Like I, I never really felt like that with a piece of gear where... I was afraid that I would start crackling or I would start having some issues with the machine. Every time I went to go produce on the machine, I was always, you know, cognate or, or I was always, you know, thinking about possibly taxing the machine. So that was a little weird for me. And I, I just wasn't happy with that. That wasn't that didn't make me feel good because it took away from the creative process. Even though I wasn't using some of the dope expansions that they have, I still wanted to really I really wanted to see what the machine can do and how far I could go with it. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I just did not have a great experience because again, I always was thinking about how far can I push this? Am I gonna run into any crackling? Is there gonna be issues? Or is, is it gonna get taxed down? Or, or I'm gonna start running into CPU problems and things like that. So that's not that's not good, man. And just, just so, like I said, just so you understand, I have been producing with Native Instruments and the machine uh, MPK3 for years, and I really, really love the format. I love producing on that machine, but I, I just don't like the standalone experience with the Machine Plus. Now, on the other hand, you can connect it to the computer. You can hook it up to the computer and it works the same as the MPK3. All of your stuff comes in. I mean, if it's on your computer, it's going to show up. So it is a controller. So you still can do that. So the question really boils down to this. Are you going to pay the extra $500 or whatever it is, you know, to get a machine that can be standalone? It can be a little unstable, but you do have the standalone option. And you also have the controller option. Are you willing to pay an extra 500 for that additional standalone capability, even though it's it's hit and miss sometimes? That's the question that you should be asking yourself. Now, for me personally, I'm not going to do that because, again, I've already I own the MPK3, so I'm not really like I don't need to have another machine. And since the standalone is not as attractive to me as I was hoping it would be, then it's a no brainer for me. But if you are a new machine user and you're coming into this brand new, maybe coming from the MPC or, or maybe coming from any type of standalone device, you want to be able to have a standalone option, but yet you still want to be able to use a computer. This could possibly be a good thing for you. Uh, maybe they're, they will continue to work on this. Maybe they will correct these issues. They have been trying to correct them over the last few years. So maybe they will continue to trying to, you know, maybe they will continue to keep trying to get this machine to work without so many issues. Um, do I believe that as I just said it? Nah, because I think the hardware is what it is. I think they, the architecture, the way it was made, it just, there's only so much they can do. They have to come out with a machine uh, plus two. And I think if they do that, they come out with a machine two uh, plus two and they put more RAM in it, um, have it to where it can really, you know, utilize all of the great sounds that Native Instruments have. Maybe the plugins would be uh, a little bit more compatible and, and able to uh, be used at a full range, you know, David to just max out the, the capabilities of using the, the plugins 
then I think they would have something special and I think they would seriously compete with the NPC ecosystem because the workflow is great, um, but the Machine Plus is not. And that, that's, my, that's my conclusion that I'm sending it back because um, it's just not ready yet. All right, man, listen, it's your boy Marcus Elbow, man, ElbowMediaStudios.com. I just want to thank y'all again for watching this video to the end. Remember, if you're looking for any type of gear, run over to Zounds and go fill out the application. They're approving people at a crazy rate. Go fill out the app, get you some gear in two days, pay $50, $100, whatever, and then pay some monthly uh, installments with no interest, and you could be banging our music. And again, like I said, if you need a machine and you want to have a, a somewhat standalone and you want to have the computer access as well, then go pick up UA Machine Plus. I'm going to have a link in the description, as I have many links in the description about all of the equipment that I use and all the stuff that I buy from Zound. So if you want to do that and you want to click on one of those, I would appreciate it it helps support the channel and it's no extra cost to you okay also if you want to come hang out with us at elbowmediastudios.com go ahead you can go hang out over there we got gear over there uh we got free stuff over there sound packs over there so you can find a lot of things uh, at the home base over at elbowmediastudios.com all right i'm gonna catch y'all in a minute all right all right bro one love i holla peace